Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here and I have a question from one of my uh, viewers on the channel who asked, he's been boxing and doing some Muay Thai, mixed martial arts, and right now at home he's got a set of dumbbells, not too heavy, but he wants to know what should he do to improve some punching techniques using those weights. I'm going to answer that right now. All right, so I've grabbed some small dumbbells. You didn't tell me what types of dumbbells you have, but I'm assuming the regular dumbbells and the first thing before I show you what you can do to train your punches is basically have correct form. We don't want to just be wildly punching, you know, haymakers with weights in our hands. First off, I want to talk about my opinion on dumbbell training for punching. You see that a lot of people that uh, they'll shadow box using dumbbells and whatnot. And is it good or is it bad? Here's the deal. I'm not a big fan of it today. But when I started training, I used to do that a lot. So I want to share what I used to do. Now, I'm not saying that it's right or wrong. I'm not saying it's good or bad. All I'm saying is I'm not of the opinion of training with heavy dumbbells. If you're going to do it in shadow box, train with light dumbbells. Right now, for this video, I grabbed some 8-pound dumbbells. Okay, so it's not too heavy. It's not too light. But the thing is, I'm going to show you what I used to do. So if you're going to shadow box for a duration of two to three minutes using regular boxing or even five minutes MMA rounds, you want to be grabbing only small dowels. The small dowels are going to be like one pound or maximum two or three pounds, okay, depending on your size. Now, the way I'm going to show it to you today is we're not going to shadow box. We're just going to do reps, reps of every single punch to train our shoulders, okay? But we're going to use a little bit heavier. So in this case, I have the eight pounds. So all we're going to do is grab here in our stance and we're going to do 10 repetitions of each okay so for the purpose of the video i'm not going to go through the full workout but i'm going to show you how it works so you get into your stance and now you're going to throw 10 left jabs so you're going to go one two three four five five four three two one now keep your stance we're going to go with 10 right straights i'm going to go one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now keep this stance. Now we're going to go with left hooks. So in the same stance is going to be your left hook. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to do that for ten reps. Then same stance, ten right hooks. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, up to ten. Then we have our uppercuts. So from this stance, left uppercut, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 10, and then 10 right uppercuts. One, always turning, three, four, five, all the way up to 10. Now, you can take a break, drop your weight, and then switch to a southpaw stance, meaning right foot forward, and restart the process. So 10 times with the right jab, 10 left straights, 10 right hooks, 10 left hooks, 10 right uppercuts, and then 10 rear uppercuts. In this case, southpaw is going to be left uppercuts. And then you take a break and you can restart the process a few times. I used to train this, only repetitions, and then that would train my shoulders slightly. It's like a shoulder workout with your weights, but the thing is, you want to keep your hands up. You don't want to start your punches from down up. What happens now is when you start throwing punches up with heavier dumbbells such as 8, 10, or even sometimes I would see people grabbing 15 pounds, is you don't want to be that almighty person in the gym who thinks you're so strong you can grab the 15, 20 pound dumbbells or 25 dumbbells and start throwing punches wildly. What's going to happen now is, yeah, of course you're going to be strong enough to throw the punches with, <laughs> with the weights, but the thing is you're causing wear and tear to the shoulder joints, the ligaments, the soft tissues in the shoulders, the rotator cuffs, there's damage that's being done. And you're not feeling it now, and depending on how old you are, I used to do it when I was 18, 20 years old, but there's wear and tear, and there's damage you want to prevent. So if you're in it for the long run, trying to train for longevity, so you can do martial arts until you're in your 50s and 60s and maybe more, then if you're 19, 20, 25 years old, you want to take care of your body. So that's why at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that I'm not a big fan of throwing punches using heavy weights. You can do it, but very light weights. So we're going to build the long-term muscular endurance in our shoulders. So our deltoids have the capacity to keep our hands up at all times. Okay. So if you're training correctly with that purpose in mind, yes, using dumbbells to train your punches is a great way. Keep that in mind. Train hard. 
We'll catch you in the next video, guys. Take care.